Hey guys, Polish Gaming here, back for another week of weekly pickups. Uh, without further ado, we'll get into it. It's a bit of a small one this week, so uh, yeah, it's uh, going to give me a bit of a short episode. But um, this week we've got Xbox 360, we've got Angry Birds Trilogy. Um, this one I've actually been after for quite a while. For some reason a lot of people would um, put this up on like 50 bucks and stuff on Trade Me, but this one I managed to get for 10 bucks uh, from another reseller, Highly Suspect. Uh, this one here, actually I got a part of a um, bundle deal for $39, there was 11 games, uh, a lot of them were Call of Duty, um, a lot of them also have a quite a bit of sun fading on the spines, not too bad, but I needed this for my collection, so I kept this one and Gears of War 2, which I'll show you soon. Um, yeah, it was actually a pretty good deal, 11 games, 36 bucks, most of those I'll pretty much flick off, make my money back on that, so... Not a bad deal when I get to put two to the collection. Uh, this was also a really good game. I used to love this one. First one to come with uh, uh, zombies. So, yeah, had a good jam on it. Managed to get um, the 1500, but I think there's two more achievements, which is just ridiculous, which you have to go prestige times 10, and they're worth zero G anyway. So, I consider it complete. Uh, this one here, uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Um, oh, that, that one actually I got part of the deal, like I say. Um, this one here, Raging Blast 2, this one was $20. A pretty damn good, uh, pretty pretty good deal. Uh, a lot of them seem to go for around about 30, 40 range, so I was happy to pick that up at um, uh, $20. And uh, on another note there, rest in peace to Akira Toriyama. A lot of the stuff that I, I love Dragon Ball, um, I love Dragon Ball pickups. Even all the other games, you know, if I could get myself a Chrono Trigger, because he had a lot of influence in the gaming... Um, the gaming industry, I mean, you've got Blue Dragon on the Xbox 360, you've got Chrono Trigger, which is very expensive, but I do want that on the, I don't think it's actually, I think the SNES is only NTSC, so I'll most likely go for Chrono uh, Trigger DS, and also, uh, what was it, uh, the Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest series, there were a few others, actually, do I have it, I feel like if I remember rightly, Tobol, Tob, T-O-B, Tobol, no, I don't think I have it, no, I've been meaning to get that for a while, um, but Tobal, that's another one that uh, it looks like it has. I'm pretty sure it's a Curatorium, but might be wrong about that one. But yeah, good game. Happy to add that to collection. Uh, Gears of War 2. Now, this one here, I actually had the Ultimate Edition, uh, the Gears of War Game of the Year Edition, and Gears of War 1 and 2 Double Pack. So I realized I didn't actually have that, which is a bit weird to have um, such a common title that I don't have in my uh, collection here. Once again, it's from that bundle, a little bit of sun fading on the side, but... I'll keep that until I might find another bundle and upgrade. Uh, this one here, his next one is from an NZ Retro Gamers group, um, uh, Doug Finity. He basically managed to got that one. That one, oh yeah, that was part of that bundle. That one. Uh, this one I got for twenty five, I believe. Yeah, twenty five dollars. Pretty good deal. Um, it's a little bit more common on the Xbox One. A little bit less common on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty because this is when you're at the phase when they start to phase out all the um, all the manuals. So this one's a little bit harder to come by. So pretty happy to get it for twenty five dollars. Now this next one here, we're going on to PS2, um, this is a pretty good one, part of the Shin Megami Tensei series, which is all Persona, I think Shin Megami Tensei, I think there's a couple of other ones, but this is Devil Digital Saga 2, very good condition, very good condition from um, Davis Hickey on old school retro gamers, but I picked it up off him from, um, from Trade Me, so pretty stoked to have that in my collection, that'll join my Lucifer's Call and my uh, Persona FE, FE yes, I'm pretty sure it is. So there it is, yep, Persona 3 FES, so you probably won't see that one because it's in a special cover, but yeah, that one there's a pretty um, pretty big hitter, so I was happy to get that one, and this one, this one was $61, pretty good to get that off the list. Now this one here is a pretty exceptionally good thing, I, I'm, um, there's a, quite, a, quite a few Facebook groups, and some of them are wild west for the rules, as they say, like uh, a lot of them, the one that I'm in, New Zealand Retro Group um, Gamers, is very specific, you can't backdoor deal you can't pm people you can't um snake deals there's a lot of things that ha make it so that the collector basically it's if you're in first and you comment first you get the item if you're keen for it you're commenting first you're done if you comment second or anything or there's it just basically takes away all the the negatives that do come with pages when they allow it whereas this retro gaming nz which i'm part of that's pretty much wild rest the worst of the rules um there is no rules uh there was a person that did comment for this item but they said are you what were you located I actually looked because I was a little bit um, curious to see where this person was from. They were from Christchurch, and I don't want to step on anyone's toes. So um, he was from Christchurch. The person was in Auckland that was uh, for it. So I said, "Hey, look, if it hasn't sold, can I please grab this?" And yeah, she um, she let this uh, she let that um, you let me come and get it. And that was over in the North Shore. It was a Georgia, I believe. I believe her name's Georgia Faye. I think it's Georgia Fee. It's uh, J O R J A. So 
I'm guessing it at Ottawa, I'm not too sure. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's Georgia. But yeah, absolutely stoked to get a Neotones Ice. Uh, these ones I'm in the... Basically, I'm trying to collect a full set of Neotones, which I believe, looking into it, I think the Neotones only came out in Ice and Atomic Purple, so I may have the full set. I will look into that a little bit more, but I'm also keen to get all the colours. Like, I've got Grape, Ice, Atomic Purple. Uh, my mate's got Teal. Uh, she won't sell that one to me, so I understand it's a childhood thing. Um, but yeah, and uh, there's Teal, there's Kiwi, there's Berry. Uh, I think there's Dandelion as well. There's a few other colours that I'm pretty interested in getting. I do like variants, especially with the Nintendo sets, with the colour range they have. I'm trying to go for a full Fantastic, um, power, full Fantastic Pal Nintendo 64. It's not really called Fantastic here. Fantastic was the American side of it, but they're pretty much the same five colours that came, which I believe are Ice Blue, Fire Red, um, Grape. I think, I think Jungle Green is part of it as well. I think in America, Smoke Black is part of it as well. So there's, there might be six in America and five here. I can't quite remember. But yeah, it's um I just love all the colours. I mean, that's a pretty cool one. And to have a... To have one of these um, and of course with this it was a very good condition came in all its baggies and everything and it's just a it's an awesome system and i love the uh, game boy color especially considering that was the first one well it wasn't the first system to come out on color i think it was game gear or maybe atari Lynx that did but these are just amazing they didn't require that many batteries and they lasted for ages so happy to add that to my set but um yeah that's uh, um that's all of it for this week Hopefully, maybe a little bit more next week. I'm really kind of digging into my Xbox 360 set at the moment. I'm just really wanting to get that down. I'm I'm pulling myself down. I'm under 300 at the moment. So, yeah, once I get down to 200, it starts to become realer and starts to become a little bit more pushing towards it. I mean, my Sega Mar system, I would really like to have that. That's 36, no, 30, 35, or I think 36 left. Um, Dreamcast is still quite a way, and so is Saturn, but... And the Wii U, of course, which I'm also pretty keen to click for, which is, I think, 33 away. So, yeah, so with those ones, I'm pretty keen to just try and knock out these sets. A lot of the other ones from the Master System, I think there's like two or three that might be easy to come by. The rest are all, I'll have to go overseas for them. I doubt they're going to come up in New Zealand, like the likes of Home Alone, um, the Smurfs 2. Uh, what's the other one? What's the hockey one? A champion? It's championship hockey, I'm not too sure. But yeah, that one there's a thousand dollar game easy. Um and of course weird ones like that I'm missing, like I'm missing um oh World Cup a World Cup game, World Cup ninety two, I think, and I'm also missing uh I'm trying to think, no, I can't actually think at the moment. But basically, so like I say, some of them are pretty easy to get, some not so much. So some will be on eBay, hopefully some will come up. I'm pretty patient with stuff, but I'm starting to get a little bit impatient with I just want to finish that Master System set, I really do, and it's just one of my childhood things that I really loved, Master System, so it's one of those things that I'm pretty keen to keep, um, complete, but yeah, hopefully there's other things that like, um, it's easy when you're doing these things, when um, when you're trying to collect for things, because then you do subsets in a sense, like, oh, you know, I just got all the Fifas, oh, I just got all the Maddens, and all this, and it starts to kind of break down and make it feel like you're actually accomplishing something, because when you're going for the likes of uh, Xbox 360, which has like 1400 and something in it, Actually, I think it is. I think it might be 1,200. But either way, it's a big number. It's daunting. And that's pretty much what I'd say to any collector if they're going for a full set. Just break it down into sections and grab those sections and it'll make you feel a bit happy and make you feel like you're accomplishing something and actually getting the completion, you know, <laughs> getting the collection numbers that you need. But yeah, with that, um, yeah, that's that for the week. Like I say, hopefully get some more next week. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. See you later.